Hey you guys, happy Monday. It's not just any Monday though, oh no. It is May the 4th, which means May the 4th be with you. That's right, it is National Star Wars Day, so you have to go do like a Star Wars movie marathon or something like that, right? So you're welcome for that little bit of information. May the 4th be with you. Um, join me tomorrow for Revenge of the 5th. It's another Star Wars holiday. So, uh, for today, let's move into chapter 19 of Hunger Games, right? We're coming out of part two, going into part three, which is called The Victors. And uh, Katniss is having to deal right now, think about her hero's journey and her challenges. She's having to deal right now with the loss of Rue. Um, very personal loss for Katniss because Rue really reminded her of Prim. Um, she had a real connection with her. So losing her... That was really difficult, and District 11, who's Rue's district, thanked Katniss by sending her bread, which is unheard of. Districts don't send gifts to other tributes, um, but they did because they watched how Katniss took care of Rue, how she sang to her, um, you know, tried to um, bring her some peace. And when she laid her body to rest in the meadow, she decorated her with flowers, which shows honor to Rue. And that's something that's frowned upon in the capital. One tribute showing honor to another tribute is sort of a, a little bit of rebellion towards the capital. Um, so she's coming out of that and now moving into this next challenge, finding PETA, because the game makers have just given a twist to the games, right? They've just announced that if two tributes from the same district survive, they both will win the Hunger Games right? They won't have to fight each other. They'll both win. And so now she would need to find PETA in order for both of them to go home. So that's going to be her next challenge here in the hero's journey. Um, so read and listen to chapter 19. Also work on your last choice board activity for the year. Can you believe the year is almost over? I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. Um, I didn't change the choices on the choice board this week, but remember you can't do the same one twice. So whatever two um, activities you've already done, pick a new one this week, find one that's interesting to you, and turn that into me by midnight. So in the end, you'll have three different activities turned into me from the choice boards. Okay? So read chapter 19, work on your choice board activity that is not due until Friday at midnight, so you have the whole week to work on it. Um, this is our last official Monday together. I can't believe it. Um, but if you have all of your work and all classes done by this Friday, May 8th, you are officially done with 8th grade, okay? If you need some extra time, maybe you've had internet issues or maybe you got a little bit behind in your work, don't panic. You have May 11th through the 20th as recovery days. And so just really use your time wisely. Get all of your assignments done. Uh, that does include connections. Make sure you check your fourth quarter connections and that you get all of your assignments turned in and um, summer break will begin and you'll officially be a ninth grader, okay? So, read chapter 19 today, work on your choice board. May the fourth be with you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.